Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and I'm here with Duke. Uh, Duke's our newest board and train. He is a seven month old Cavapoo, which is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel mixed with a Poodle. Um, he is just as cute as a button, as you can see. And, um, but he's got quite the rap sheet, which is why I have notes. So just to kind of share with you what's going on with, with Duke here and why, why he's with us. So a lot of typical uh, behaviors for his age. He's a, a seven month old, you know, adolescent dog. No longer a puppy, technically, but um, a lot of barking going on. So uh, Deanna, his owner, likes to take him to work with her, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, when he's there, he barks at everyone. So if somebody comes to her office, he's barking. Um, he barks while in the car when he sees things or people outside the car. He barks at her husband. Um, he jumps on people. He's jumping on furniture. Uh, going potty in the house, toileting in the house, overexcited behavior, counter surfing. In fact, when he first got here, he, he um, tried to get up, not get up on the table, but you know, put his two front paws up on the table. That is a deadly behavior, counter surfing. They can get into things and he already has. He's been snatching things and then runs and hides under um, the table apparently, which, uh, really a recipe for a bite in the future if the dog has something that uh, you know is of high value to them something as simple as a sock um, they can bite for that if you're reaching under a table or reaching under a you know a bed or something so um, you know a lot of these things happen with a lot of people because they give the dog too much freedom in the beginning and that's, that's Duke's story. He's had a lot of freedom and, and not a lot of direction just because you know, they didn't know what, what to do with it. So um, we're gonna work on all the stuff with him. We're gonna start as we always do with basic obedience, you know, the basic commands, teaching him to sit down, coming with call, walking nicely on the leash. Um, he is quite a puller on the leash also. This little guy who's not very, um, Big is pretty strong when he's on the leash and just kind of going for it. So, so we're going to work with him on all of that, and um, you know, further his potty training skills. I mean, he's you know, it's going to be a while before he's fully potty trained. That's for sure. But we're going to set down a good foundation and, and um, system of, of potty training. We're going to teach him potty on command, which means. You know, when we say go potty, you pee. When we say get busy, you poop. Um, and also, when learning potty on command, it helps them to know why you're bringing them out there. So, uh, what what you want from them. So, again, Duke, seven months old, have a poo, and we've got um, Imogene back here in the crate holding the kennel command with the door open at this point in time, which. Based on the fact that there's a new dog here, it's pretty challenging for her, but she's doing great. Got a little bit of whining going on, but we're working on that also. Uh, overall, she's doing pretty fantastic. So, uh, so anyway, stay tuned for Duke's progress, and um, we'll, we're going to start with some leash training and kennel training, and you'll see some videos of those as well. All right. If you have any questions, you can post in the comment section or email me at info at gooddogcoaching.com. Info at gooddogcoaching.com. Take care. Bye.